Sodia is really coming to life. This place that I have envisioned for so long is really coming into physical manifestation in an incredible speed. Beautiful morning, friends. The most spectacular mountain view. I was greeted after. Look at that. Look at that. After my test sleep, <laughs> our two new beautiful Hevea organic latex mattresses that I brought home two days ago. The last night I slept on this one, and the night before I slept on this one in order to see which will be the mattress for our floor sleeping setup at Custodia. Both are 7.5 centimeters high, so quite a thin mattress in order to have all the benefits of floor sleeping, aligning posture, getting a massage basically for all your muscles during the night, have them rollable during the day because our custodia tents will not be big so it's essential to have the mattresses be rollable and able to put them in the in the corner during the day in order to use the space differently um i can tell you like this is so so beautiful both mattresses were like ah oh. i woke up in the morning refreshed very early around today around 6 a.m and like just feeling like do you know this feeling of waking up in the morning and feeling like oh oh did i really sleep like on the floor you're activated the whole night it's a, a bamboo cover super super soft and cozy bamboo cover and inside you see two layers the bottom layer is upcycled latex which Sustainability wise is super nice because this is something that like had no use case before. 2.5 centimeters of upcycled latex and five centimeters of premium latex because the upcycled latex is like pretty yes. <laughs> pretty pretty hard. And then on top the five centimeters of premium latex and together this forms like a hard and at the same time uh, like nice nice surface to sleep on <sighs> very happy and yes of course a mattress that is fully organic from a company that is a certified b corp that actually cares about the environment that doesn't produce like any toxic waste of course this is more expensive than like most mattresses out there and there was this part inside myself that looked for cheaper alternatives until I realized, fuck no, fuck no. I want to support companies like these. And first and foremost, for Custodia, I want nothing but the best. And this begins with how we sleep. Next example, in the last days, I spent a lot of time researching kitchenware. And of course, there was again this impulse of let's just get some pots and pans from Amazon like and off we go but no 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 and the not only super beautiful but also long-lasting products of Le Creuset from France actually fulfill that durability that will last a lifetime like this these this kitchenware this is what we need of course they are more pricey of course they are more pricey. Sure, you can get something a lot, a lot cheaper. But if you're in it for the long run, not want something that is nice for a year or two or three, but want something that is nice for 30 years or 50 years that you can pass on to the next generation, this is how we achieve true sustainability. So imagine this is the sauna with the glasses. Mm -hmm. And so when people come outside, they still have like this two meter area around the sauna, very beautiful. And maybe on one of the corners, because we're gonna have the roof 
covering, maybe on one of the corners, we can just extend a little bench. Mm -hmm. So you can have an area for tea, mm -hmm. for, you know, everybody can have a, make their own tea, yeah. make their own coconut, thing. So they're yeah. there enjoying the mm -hmm. coffee corner, let's mm -hmm. say. Very simple. We like People will stay there all day. All day. <laughs> so they don't care. Like when they go back to their tent, they say, okay, this tent is awesome. Let's sleep next day back to the back sauna. To the sauna. Yeah. <laughs> and it's an, it could be an amazing hot spot. Yeah, yeah, true. So if I start to build on the 25, that's a very simple building. Mm -hmm. I guess maximum a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's n it would be hard to deliver on the 1st of sure. December. Yeah, yeah, I but I believe that until like 10 December is possible, mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, that's mm -hmm. awesome. That yeah. would be nice. <laughs> that was a beautiful meeting with John um, from Brazil. I love Brazilians. Mm. He will probably build our bamboo sauna, the first bamboo sauna in Bali. Still trying to figure everything out. Very promising. Great guy. A lot of experience in bamboo architecture and <laughs> having a wood fired bamboo sauna, like the most sustainable thing that you can build given the abundance of bamboo here in this area. This this would really be a like personal dream come true. I'm on the scooter, on my way to the land. My first time since three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks of staying in bed. And now finally I get to see this magical place again. Nervous at the same time. Very, very excited. Oh no. I'm just editing the video and realize that the next part where I'm going to the land again for the first time after three and a half weeks and I'm super excited about everything that I see <laughs> that this has no audio somehow there was a problem with the microphone so I'm just gonna give it to you a little bit of nice music and you can try to sense what I'm talking about <laughs> Where you're coming up the hill and then you're driving this way the first thing that you see is tent number two for now it's called tent number two every tent will get its own identity this will be created soon look this is not just a bamboo platform this has a roof and they will put a tarp in order to have double protection against the rain and at the same time it will look so nice when everything is assembled for tent number one progress is also very nice this is the highest one where you need to walk just a couple of meters to get up the hill look at that already almost finished over there this is <laughs> tent number three this is where i slept for three nights before my foot didn't allow me to stay on the land. This will change soon. <laughs> oh my god, this is so nice. Wow. I have, a, I have a no wow. Oh my god, <laughs> there's already a toilet. <laughs> Not mounted yet. This is nice. This is really nice. Wow. So this will be our composting toilet that goes directly um, into a banana pit system that will be installed behind. Okay, I cannot go there at the moment. Oh yeah, I can, I can go there. Ah yeah. And this is where our leftovers will decompose. <laughs> And we're using this precious resource in order to grow more foods. <laughs> mm. And look at that. 
this is the this is the shower oh a spiral bamboo shower oh my god like everything is so beautiful here the coconut core locks I used as well to stabilize it's pretty steep here to stabilize the earth look the first plants are already coming through this is the cladi the Balinese sweet potato already coming through here you see the the other platforms almost finished almost finished right wow this is incredible oh look at both the toilet as well as the shower were already put on the on the screw foundations these things this was a, definitely a process to figure out then and they can be um, easily removed if we need to move anything we will leave this land whatever without leaving anything behind this is a pretty amazing alternative to regular concrete um, foundations yeah earth screws look there, there as well <laughs> incredible incredible This will be our shower, our beautiful, beautiful bamboo shower, protected by the jackfruit. Nice. Made it to the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's my first time. I just ah, arrived. That's very nice. <laughs> hey, Robert. This is my friend Wayan. Nice. Bamboo master. Nice to meet you. Hi, Wayan. Doing a lot of work. Hey, nice good to see you again. Nice to meet you. I can go around maybe with David or if you also feel like um, walking, I don't know how's your feet. Let me see. I will I will try. Maybe I will not go all the way down. No, but yeah, don't worry. Let's like, it's let's just see, more to see. show to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And I already spoke with my architect. He understands. Uh -huh. I just came today to give the final measure check. Cool. This guy. Good. Top. Nice. You see the work he do. Basically, all the massive buildings you see. In yeah. Bud, Changu. Now they have Project on Uh-huh. Really, wow. really nice. Super Everything nice. we need with this guy. That's what we need, yeah. I'm super happy he came with me. So, he will come here, enter here. Okay, nice. So, you can walk, come to the yeah. indoor, yeah. Here's come the, out. Here's the opening. Yeah. And so, maybe even on this corner, so then here you would have the stair going down the river. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we could work later, like I said, maybe on that corner to have like just like a bamboo bench yeah. with some water, tea, yeah, yeah, yeah. simple things. Yeah, it's not yeah. a big area, it's just for yeah. just a simple bamboo bench. With yeah, this. that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. yeah okay, so structure in the katsana. Tiga kali tiga. So this is a bamboo column and the roof maybe it's there. Mm -hmm. yeah. The roof starts there. Yeah. Mungkin satu meter kita keluar. Dari dari yeah. And in the bamboo tian, super tian and design. Yeah, it is. Nanti kita bisa bisa copy mungkin. Kesana, ke bawah, sama. Ini dah struktur sini. Silang, silang situ ke situ. Pablo Luna is a great guy. He do great job. But because of his level of marketing, because he's good in marketing. I know. Yeah, yeah. So it's fucking expensive. Super high expectations. Super expensive. Yeah, yeah. And Ibuku also. Yeah, yeah. Super expensive. Yeah, yeah. And so it creates, it breaks the momentum. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. For me, it's more. I love to. I love this flow, and it's mm -hmm. recommendation from El Dario. Mm -hmm. And I, bro, me and El Dario, 14 years together. We mm -hmm. did Boom Festival, Croatia Festival, mm -hmm. Georgia Festival. Nice. So it's a different vibe, yeah. That love would be it. nice. Love Let's that. do it. Okay. Cool. See ya. So super nice. He can do a maquette. Mm -hmm. I will do the design first, mm -hmm. and then he will also do a maquette. Okay. Now the maquette is gonna take a little bit more than the design. Mm -hmm. But next week can be ready. So. <laughs> Friends, things have progressed insanely over the past three and a half weeks. And that's good. Today we have November 14. That means in two and a half weeks our first custodians will come here. And until then, we have a lot to do. The platforms need to be finished, the tents need to be installed. 
We imported the tents from Germany, from Nordisk. They are like, yeah, the experts in sustainable outdoor equipment. Beautiful cotton tents produced sustainably. Like, they're doing an amazing job. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to unpack them. They arrived in Jakarta already, so a couple of days, and then they will be here. And we're gonna install them with the tarp on top of it. Um, we need to do the pathways and uh, make everything neat and tidy. Hmm. A great process with John regarding the sauna. <laughs> this will not be finished by December 1st, but probably shortly after. So yeah, <laughs> Custodia is coming to life. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Custodia is really coming to life. This place that I have envisioned for so long is really coming into physical manifestation in an incredible speed. In two and a half weeks, this will be a home. This will be a home. Yeah. Place to grow, a place to create, a place to connect, a place to align, a place to ground. A place to think big. A place where everything that's important is coming together. Slowly and gradually. Of course, this is just phase one. This is just the beginning. But it will be a good foundation. We'll be able to stay here. And on top of that, we can build everything else. Phase two, phase three, and so on and so on. All the way towards our great, great vision. Building a village. Building a village where... Everything is coming together. It's necessary. Yes. An experiment in the future of human civilization. This is what we're doing here. Trying to figure out how we as a species can come together productively in order to steward this beautiful planet. That's the intention. And this requires the big vision, and at the same time, it requires the, yeah, <laughs> the small bamboo carpentry and everything else. Yeah. Mm. Grateful, so grateful to be on this journey. <laughs> Feels so much like me. Yeah, can't think of anything else <laughs> that is more meaningful than this. And it's a huge honor to be able to share all that with you through this medium and here again this is just the beginning like what I can create what I can put out there into the world what I can document what we are doing is just the beginning we're aiming to do a blueprint that other people can take inspiration from and yeah, build on our experiments that we are doing in order to bring places like this into reality in other corners of the world. <laughs>